Oh, shit. Am I rolling? Yeah, I'm rolling. Now, folks, this is Brian McKeon from the Predatory Lender, and I'm shooting for One Day on Earth. Now, originally I came down here to film one story, and I found another story that's uh, dear to my heart as well. I'm an Iraqi veteran, and uh, when I was in Iraq, I came down with Gulf War Syndrome, and that is why I started my show, The Predatory Lender. But I'm here today with... Uh, Michael Lindley. M Michael Lindley, and he's got some sort of uh, war memorial here for the veterans and stuff. Can you tell us something about that? Sure, this is... Uh, Can you? We, yeah. That. Sure, we're down in <clears throat> Arlington West. This is a memorial uh, for, uh, to remember the uh, soldiers that have died in Iraq and Afghanistan. It's down here for people to understand what the cost of war is all about. It's here to make sure that, uh, that we have the opportunity to get the information to, our, to the public about our young men and women coming back and, and making sure that they're getting taken care of. It's, down, it's up here for people to have conversation about, talk, you know, different points of view. It's also here to educate the public. We want the public to understand that these young men and women dying every single week in Afghanistan and Iraq. We want to know that we want them to know that uh, there are very there's millions of civilians that are dying in uh, in Iraq and Afghanistan, and we want to, we want to keep the public aware of these things. Um, now, um, since this is for one day on Earth, is there any particular reason um, that you came out here this day? No, we we're, we're out here. We're actually out here. We're actually out here every Sunday. We've been out here now every Sunday for the last uh, six years and seven months. Is there any particular stories that you'd like to tell the people? Because um, this is going to be in a worldwide movie that will be documented for release next year. Is there any particular story you would like to tell the people of the world? There, there are many stories we can tell you. You know about that we've learned. We've been down here. That have been down here. The young men and women have come down here and told us. I mean, we have stories about a uh, young man who came down here with a CV. He was shot up pretty bad. Uh, his whole left side was. Uh, he couldn't control his left side. Uh, he was operated all the way up the side of his body. He was a uh, uh, he was a CB. He was training uh, uh, he was training Iraqis to build uh, schools. And, and uh, once they would build a school, as soon as that school would get built up, they would blow that school up. And he happened to be in one of the schools that got blown up. And as soon as they blow them up, the next thing they do is they have to. One of the things we have to do is we have to rebuild that school. So that means there's more another school, another project, more money we have uh, involved with. Uh, there's stories like that all over the place. Uh, suicides are, uh, we've had a lot of suicide stories. Uh, these, uh, of these young men and women being very frustrated coming back, feeling guilty, uh, especially if they come back and they, out, and they get out of the service and then, and then their buddies go back. They feel very guilty so they commit suicide. Uh, there are, you know, I mean, uh, it, it, I got, you got hours and hours of stories down here. So, um, I'll just tell a quick thing about myself. Um, I'm a Wall Street day trader that uh, was trading before 9-11, joined the Army after 9-11. I went to Iraq, came back sick, um, got some Gulf War syndrome, had a couple seizures, and when I was in the hospital I saw the predatory lender was the top Halloween costume, and I'm now doing a TV show on predatory lending and finance and investment, and I film it with the Hollywood Boulevard characters here today, and they're out in Santa Monica, and I just happened to notice a fellow veteran out here. And um, that's part of my story, why me as a veteran is doing this and talking to other veterans, because I, I was a, in Iraq, I know what it was like, um, so I'm talking to some folks here about their experiences as well. Now, is there any last minute things you'd like yeah, to say? I never want to, we're sitting in front of a, a Right now, there's a wall that you, you see right here. Uh, this wall, as you can see, has pictures of the military wounded. It has uh, uh, pictures of men and women who have been wounded. It also has pictures of the Iraqis over here. These, this is some of the wounded and some of the damage and some of the, that have been done. A lot of these people you see here, on the on the on all, all the people you see here on the Iraqi war are all civilians, and 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 that you know these are these are people that should have never been put in a position that they're in and and but they are because we went over to Iraq we took our troops over there we went into their country we destroyed their country uh, and we uh, it's not any better today than it was when we in fact it's worse today than than it uh, was when we first got there uh, it's it, it's never going to get better as long as we're there it's not going to get better 
uh, and right now it's 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 it'll ne actually in my opinion it'll never get better because there are so many young people that have died from this war that you can't bring them back so that's something you can't you can't correct and you know and and so this means that you know this continues and and we're trying to get this we're trying to get this to stop and I think it's important that you know, the, the public have this information because if the public has this information, things change. For example, Iraq changed. Uh, in the beginning of the war, well, first when we went into Iraq, people saw, strongly supported Iraq. It was a big support. Uh, support. Seventy-three percent of the uh, uh, of people in this country supported Iraq, the invasion of Iraq. Two years later, two years later, it was down to fifty percent. Two years later, it was seventy-three percent. People were against the war in Iraq. Why? Because it was a, it, it was a bad war. It was uh, it, we ran it lousy. You know, we shouldn't have been there in the first place. Mistakes were made all the time. Money was being spent. Money was being lost. Million, billions, and billions of dollars were being lost. And we have to realize that you know, if you're going to do something, you have to do it right. If you don't do it right, then you're going to end up having yourself a lot more trouble than you need. Okay, well, I have 10 minutes. Do you want to talk for another four? Sure. Uh, yeah, uh, let me tell you a little bit about the memorial. Okay. Let's grab the wire. We can walk. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go out here. Hey, let me grab my bag so no one runs off of my gun. No. Okay. Okay. Because of the rules of the thing I'm filming, I have 10 minutes, so we can say whatever okay. you want for another three minutes. Okay. Uh, okay, out here. You see these black crosses that are, these black uh, hats that are in front of our hair. These are Presente crosses. These are members of our organization that have died, okay? In the background, you see, you see 12 uh, memorial coffins. This, what this means is that we're trying to tell people that 12 people died in Iraq last week. I mean, in, in, in Afghanistan. And I think one was in Iraq. Every, since since uh, combat has stopped in Iraq, we've lost at least six or seven lives. Uh, here we got red crosses. One red cross stands for ten. Uh, you know, we, we only have so much space out here, so to stay close to the numbers, we have to use red crosses. The memorial would go much further down the beach if we used all white crosses. Uh, we put totals on here. For example, you can see right there it says uh, it, uh, troops killed in Afghanistan, 11. Troops killed in Iraq, 1. And then, and, and then, we, uh, uh, and then we have the numbers here and the totals right here. Uh, that wounded wreck, that wounded number down there is incorrect. It's it's uh, real incorrect. We need to change that number. Oh. <laughs> All those numbers. Let's see, get a picture of this. This uh, these flags here. This is our this is our Veterans for Peace flag, and the uh, the flag that has it with the colors on it. That's a Gold Star Family flag. That means those are those Gold Star families are the ones families who have lost members in Iraq and Afghanistan. Okay, we got about one more minute. Is there any last minute thing? Uh, out here we have uh, this back here in the row back here we have the uh, pictures of the first My hand shake them the Caesars so <laughs> yeah. uh, back here we have a uh, uh, pictures of the first thousand that have died in Iraq over here on this side we have names of, uh, and uh, of the men and women that died in Iraq we also have an Iraqi memorial over here for the uh, to uh, tell you know to because to, we say that we're all this memorial is also for the people who died in Iraq. Uh, if you want to come up to our tent, when you come to our tent, you, we have books there that you can look up the numbers uh, of, the, of the people we have memorials for. We have uh, memorials for, we have over 2,000 memorials. That means 2,000 two, uh, 2, people have came to our memorial and made memorials. And, and, about, and, about, ten, and about 500 of those were uh, uh, Gold Star families. Okay. Um, so last 10 seconds, anything? Uh, peace. <laughs>